It's time to make it Just give it a try Cause you can make it Like the old fat guy Welcome to this episode of You Can Make It with David Farrell, the old fat guy. Today I'm not cooking anything. My buddy Bill and I are going to assemble my brand new Timberline 850 Traeger smoker. And after having lifted it off the truck and having to carry it here, I can tell you this is a heavy piece of equipment. And as a result, I know it's going to be very important that I keep hydrated before I get started. So I'll make sure I take plenty of fluids. With no further ado, let's get into working on the Traeger. For this video, for ease of watching, I have videotaped the whole process of putting the unit together. However, I will cut out parts where I'm just looking for a part or speed up more boring parts. I have put a timer in the bottom right so you can see the actual elapsed time for completing the build. I started by cutting the packing straps and lifting the top of the box off. I found this easier to do with two people. On opening the box, I saw a smaller box labeled Start Here. I opened it up and found the assembly guide and the nuts and bolts needed to construct the Traeger. I really like the fact that they were laid out together in a blister pack so that you can find all of the nuts and bolts as they are labeled on the blister pack in the assembly guide. Also, they supply all the tools you need with the screwdriver and wrenches in the same blister pack. The first instructions they give you is to remove all the parts from the box and all the contents from the inside of the body of the Traeger. The next step is to tip the body of the Traeger over onto its back. This definitely takes two people as it is very heavy. They also don't warn you that in tipping it back, the lid tends to flop open very quickly and could do damage to something if it hit it or get damaged itself if it hits anything hard on the surface. I recommend you take care to make sure the lid doesn't flop open quickly when you lean it back. They tell you to use packaging to prop up the front edge so the legs will go on easier. I found all the packaging was cardboard and crushed when you put it under. I suggest you get some 2x4s instead of using the packaging. The next step in the instructions is to install the four legs. They don't tell you in the instructions, but each leg is marked with a colored sticker that matches the colored sticker where it's supposed to go on the body of the unit. You'll note I had to add more and more packaging to get it to tilt up enough to be able to put the legs in properly. Again, I would suggest getting some 2x4s to do this instead of using the packaging.
the next step was to tighten up all the nuts and bolts that had attached the legs. The next step is to install the cross braces between the legs. Next, I install the Wi-Fi antenna and the power cord. Now you have to stand the Traeger up on its legs. Trust me, you really want two people to lift it up on its legs. This sucker is heavy.
The next installation is the side shelf. I found it much easier to do with my buddy holding the shelf in place for me. Now it was time to put the front shelf on. Time to install the handle. To finish off your Traeger, you need to put the grease pan in the slot at the side of the body of the Traeger. You need to put the deflector over the fire pot, the drip pan in the belly of the body of the unit, and then insert your grills. Finally, you'll place the bamboo magnetic cutting board on the lid of the hopper. Overall, I'm very impressed with the ease with which the unit went together. Traeger went to a lot of work to make it as simple as possible. They supplied all the tools you need to put it together. They put all the parts in a blister pack with each nut, bolt, and washer labeled to match the instructions in the assembly manual. That is a great relief over trying to match parts up by a picture. 
very well done. I also appreciate the fact that the instructions were quite clear and I didn't have a lot of difficulty in following them. The cons were, this unit is really heavy. They're not kidding you when they tell you you need two people to put it, get it together. The other con is that the idea of using the packing material to prop it up to put the legs on just doesn't work. The cardboard packing material just crushes under the weight of this unit. And the most disturbing problem I had was when you leaned it back and the lid flopped open with great force. That could have easily caused some damage or hurt somebody. I do suggest they should give you a warning to tape it or hold it or something to avoid it happening. But overall, I think Traeger has made a unit that a person with average mechanical skills can put together. Lord knows, even a clod like me got it together. So altogether, good job Traeger. I was quite happy with the process. I have a good woman, I ain't good looking, but I do some cooking, I'm the old fat guy. So use that oven, if you want some loving, be like the old fat guy. Like the old fat girl.